Hi traders, welcome to daily forex analysis by Trade with Asim and Sajjad. Uh, let's have a look at economic calendar. Tomorrow we are expecting some uh, very important news events. Uh, uh, they will start with uh, Australian data. RBI assistant governor speech. Uh, this is a medium impact news event. I don't expect much in that event. Later on we have uh, for GBP inflation report hearings. This is very important and I'm look, uh, looking at a very high volatility maybe a very big rally or a big drop uh, we will be trading this news event just be there when we trade this and then in the u.s session we will have a canadian news event uh, core retail uh, sales mom as expected if it goes with the forecast then we can see a bigger spike in usd cat pair uh, because the Canadian dollar can drop very badly, so we'll see a bigger uh, rally in the USD CAD pair. Uh, be careful if you have any Canadian pairs running at these times. After that, we have very important news uh, event for the US dollar, uh, existing home sales, and then later crude oil inventories. Both these news uh, are very important, and we can see uh, bigger rallies in the US dollar. And the most important one later on is FOMC meeting minutes. It's a very good opportunity to long uh, DXY or US pairs. This is the only reason I'm looking uh, tomorrow uh, US dollar can bounce back. So just make sure you know the risk involved during the news events. And if you have any running open trades uh, during these hours, uh, just uh, put proper stop losses. So let's move to uh, US dollar index, uh, US dollar currency index uh, drop as expected and for tomorrow I'm expecting for the first half of the day uh, it can just uh, continue dropping and I'm looking at 94.90 but later in the day then it can bounce back after the US data. So let me explain how it can go. Uh, Let's see like uh, in the early day we can expect a drop and then around the news event uh, It will depend on the intensity, but the first level is like 90 uh, Around it's uh, 95.7 and then late rate can get, uh, even go to 96.13 and above Let's have a look at the four hour end uh, 15 minutes chart on the 4 hour time frame it's just looking a uh, continuation of the downtrend it has closed below uh, 100 moving average and the momentum is uh, bearish uh, on the 15 minute time frame uh, it's just making a bullish uh, flag maybe here yeah, on the smaller target it can just go up uh, to 95.41 and then drop from here we see euro usd and euro usd just going uh, smoothly but for tomorrow my concern is around uh, this 50 moving average uh, it's uh, 1.1624 and then later around uh, 1.1694 so in the same way when the us dollar will drop and then later will bounce back i'm expecting uh, uh, upward momentum in the early day and then after the uh, US dollar news event it can drop back So I'll be very careful with all US pairs uh, Let's see how it looks on four hours time frame and it seems like uh, It can just go sideways for a few hours and then later on it can uh, continue to its uh, upper tra uh, bullish trend Let's see how it looks on the 15 minutes chart and the 15 minutes chart is uh, it's near the uh, end of the day and so the market is getting slower and slower but in the early morning we can see a spike up so just be prepared and be careful with your uh, buy trades or if you are uh, having a sell trades then make sure you have a proper stop loss we move to GBP USD and GBP USD is also looking very strong. Uh, tomorrow, the only concern is uh, GBP uh, news event. Uh, it can go negative for GBP, so in that case, it can drop. 
but uh, till the US open I'm hoping that it will just continue to the 1.3049 target so far I'm bullish on GBP pairs at least on the daily time frame uh, let's see how it looks on the 4 hour and 15 minutes chart and on the 4 hour uh, time frame it's uh, this candlestick is closing above 100 moving average which is, which is a very good sign for a continuation of the bullish trend on the 15 minute charts to uh, yes it's making a bullish flag and it may continue going up dollar cat looks like uh, undecided and i'm neutral on a usd cat pair i will wait until i see some clear direction but so it should be dropping uh, in the at least until uh, uk session and i'm looking at 1.2962 in that case and after the news release uh, it's supposed to bounce back uh, very high then it can uh, try to touch 1.3092 on the 4 hour time frame it has found a support level if i can show you it's around here uh, 1.3022 so it's just um, becoming its support level and it can uh, even start going up from here uh, we will see how it uh, reacts on 1.3076 level but uh, before we session it may just go up and down so it's better to stay away from USD CAD pair at least until uh, the news event. And we will also uh, trade news event, so uh, be there. Uh, let's see how it looks on the 15 minutes. And on the 15 minutes, too, uh, it's just getting ready to uh, go up from here. We move to the gold and gold is also doing well though today it didn't move much but uh, slowly and steadily it's uh, uh, making a bullish trend and tomorrow I'm looking at 1 to 1 to 12.76 level though it looks a bit uh, bigger target but uh, hopefully in the Asian session it's supposed to move quick and uh, hopefully it can reach to the target let's see how it's uh, uh, looking on the four hour time frame after a very small correction now it's getting ready to go up again and on the 15 minute chart yes even on the 15 minute chart it's just trying hard to go up so far i'm 100% uh, bullish on uh, gold tomorrow morning especially before uh, European session we will see a, a huge rally in the gold let's move to Nasdaq 100 and Nasdaq 100 is just going sideways for the last almost four days and no clear direction and tomorrow we might see a bigger drop I'm expecting like if the US dollar goes up we might see a drop and I'm targeting a 7311. Uh, let's see how it looks on the 4 hour time frame. And just uh, now, I think uh, it, it dropped so badly, and tomorrow it can just continue to drop further. And on the 15 minute chart, you can see it's just dropping for the last 4 hours and tomorrow may be a simple continuation of the trend so that's all about our daily analysis thank you very much for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet also share with your friends i will see you with a new video until then take care and bye bye